Okay, you're not always referencing a journal. Of course, most of your research work will be looking at journals, but there are other things like newspapers and magazines, and here's an example of a magazine. So here again, same kind of idea. We have the author, first author, second author, third author, fourth author, and before the last author, we use ampersand, right? We use this ampersand. And then here we have the year, and magazines and newspapers are issued by day, week, month. So for example, this magazine may be monthly, so you go ahead and after a comma, put in the month, May. And then here we have the title of the article, Enhancing Worker Well-Being, Occupational Health Psychologists Convene to Share Their Research on Work Stress and Health. And here you can see it's all lowercase except after the colon, because after a colon, the first letter of the first word will be capitalized. So that, again, is an exceptional case. Here we have the name of the magazine, and you can see that it, again, is italics. That is, it's just like being underlined. We have a comma. 39 is also italicized at that angle. And then parentheses, no space before, no space inside. Five is the actual issue number. So we have like a volume number and an issue number. So this would probably be something like 39 usually means the 39th year and five would mean the fifth one in that year. Although different journals, different magazines use different numbering systems, but usually the first number would be a big measure like a year and the smaller number would be inside the year that a certain issue inside that year. And then you have the page number. So this is the beginning of the article is page 26, and the end of the article is page 29, and a period at the end. Here's an online magazine that you don't get in print. So here we have the author's name, the first name initial. We have the year and the month because it's a monthly magazine. Here is the name of the article, Science versus Ideology, and then here we have a colon and a capital after that. Psychologists fight back about the misuse of research. Here is the magazine's name, and that's italicized. Comma, and then 39 is italicized. Six is not italicized. Period. That's the end. Right there's the end. This is it. This is over. However, we're going to add a little bit more, so this is extra on the end. So we don't have a period at the end. This is just like a bit of extra information retrieved from, and here is the URL address. That's a bit of an exceptional case. How about a newspaper article? Because newspapers tend to be daily, don't they? So here's an example of daily. So we've got the author's name, last name, surname, and then the first name, the initial, year, month, and day, because newspapers are daily, aren't they? So this is the way you write it, year, comma, month. You write out the whole month, not the abbreviation, no comma, just the space, and then the day. So year, month, day. And we've got a comma over here. Obesity affects economic social status. That is the name of the article inside the newspaper. The newspaper's name is the Washington Post. And you can see it's in italics, the angle. And PP means that this is a page range, and they don't use regular page numbers. They have this A1, A4 section of the newspaper. So again, you can check the specifics. Each case is a little bit different in the examples I've just given you, and you need to go to the APA guidelines to see exactly how it fits what you're quoting. How about an online newspaper? Again, very similar. We've got the name, we've got the year, month, day, with a comma over here. And then here we've got capital letter to start. This is the name of the article. Then here is the name of the newspaper. And we're over, right there, that period's over. But then we add this retrieve from, and that's the website URL.